ever wondered about the compelling mystique of the 1946 classic, Gilda? Perhaps you've pondered, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Or are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this film that fascinate you? This noir masterpiece, directed by Charles Vidor, continues to captivate audiences with its sultry tale of love, jealousy, and betrayal. But beyond the on-screen drama, there are intriguing behind-the-scenes stories and details that make Gilda even more intriguing. Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie in the comments below. We would love to hear your stories and memories. Let's dive into the enigmatic world of Gilda, where the past meets the present in a captivating narrative. The script for the 1946 movie Gilda was not finished when filming began. Choreographer Jack Cole revealed that script pages would arrive almost on the same day as shooting indicating that the film was made up as they went along. This improvisational approach can be seen in the film's somewhat disjointed storyline. Despite this challenge, Gilder remains a classic and is known for its iconic performances, especially by Rita Hayworth, who played the title character. It's interesting to note that while Anita Ellis voiced the big production song put the blame on Mame, Rita Hayworth herself sang the song when she strummed the guitar at the bar. This demonstrates Hayworth's versatility as an actress and performer. Additionally, Gilda served as an inspiration for the character of Jessica Rabbit in the 1988 film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The sultry and captivating persona of Gilda, portrayed by Rita Hayworth, clearly left a lasting impression on the world of cinema and popular culture. In conclusion, Gilda is a classic film with a unique production history, a remarkable performance by Rita Hayworth, and a lasting influence on other works of cinema. These facts shed light on the movie's interesting background and its enduring impact on the industry. In 1946, the movie Gilda made waves in the world of cinema. One interesting fact about this film is that during its release, an atomic bomb was tested at Bikini Atoll in the Pacific Ocean's Marshall Islands, and it bore an image of Rita Hayworth, who played the lead role in the movie. The fourth atomic bomb ever to be detonated was adorned with a photograph of Hayworth cut from the June 1946 issue of Esquire magazine. Above it was stenciled the device's nickname, Gilda, in two-inch black letters. However, despite the gesture being meant as a compliment, Rita Hayworth was deeply offended by this act. This incident sheds light on the immense popularity and iconic status that Rita Hayworth had attained during that time. Her portrayal of the character Gilda in the film left a lasting impact, and her image was even used in a significant historical event. This fact serves as a testament to the cultural significance of both the movie Gilda and Rita Hayworth herself in the 1940s. The film Gilda not only left an indelible mark in history, but also raised questions about the intersection of celebrity, art, and politics during that era. It is a reminder of how film and pop culture can have unexpected and far-reaching influences. In conclusion, Gilda was more than just a movie. It was a cultural phenomenon, as exemplified by the Atomic Bomb's tribute to Rita Hayworth. This fact adds an intriguing layer to the legacy of the film and its star, making it a significant piece of cinematic history. Gilda, the 1946 film, is a classic in cinematic history. This noir drama, directed by Charles Vidor and starring Rita Hayworth, has left a lasting impact. One noteworthy fact about this film is that it was selected by the Library of Congress for preservation in the National Film Registry in December 2013. This recognition speaks to the film's cultural and historical significance. Set in a world of post-World War II intrigue and deception, Gilda tells the story of a love triangle and its twists and turns have kept audiences engaged for decades. The film's enduring appeal is a testament to its quality and the memorable performance of Rita Hayworth. So, if you're looking for a classic movie that has stood the test of time, Gilda is a prime example. It's a film that has earned its place in the National Film Registry, ensuring its preservation for future generations to appreciate and enjoy. Rita Hayworth's real singing voice is a subject of misconception in the 1946 movie Gilda. It's often rumored that this film features her true singing voice, but that's not the case. Bonus features from the DVD reveal that Anita Ellis actually dubbed most of Hayworth's singing in the movie. 
Despite her desire to sing, Hayworth never recorded her own singing voice. Columbia Pictures chief Harry Cohn paid for her voice lessons, but she never developed a voice he considered strong enough for the film. This fact sheds light on an aspect of the film's production and Hayworth's career aspirations. It's an interesting tidbit about the making of Gilda. The film Gilda, released in 1946, starring Rita Hayworth, and Glenn Ford was a significant moment in both actors' careers. But it wasn't just their performances that made this movie noteworthy. Rita Hayworth's iconic role as Gilda Munson was a defining moment in her career. The film's immense financial success for Columbia Pictures led to a dispute between Hayworth and her agent, Johnny Hyde. He demanded a share of profits for her subsequent films, but Columbia Pictures chief, Harry Cohn, initially refused. However, when Hayworth called in sick during the production of her next film, Down to Earth, Cohn eventually relented. This led to the formation of the Beckworth Corporation, allowing Hayworth to collect 25% of the net profits from her remaining films on the Columbia contract. The success of Gilda not only established Rita Hayworth as a major Hollywood star, but also set in motion a significant change in her financial arrangement with the studio. This film's impact on her career and Columbia Pictures' business practices is a testament to the enduring influence of Gilda in the world of cinema. Gilda, the 1946 film, harbors an interesting tidbit in its creation. A black dress worn by Rita Hayworth's character was inspired by John Singer Sargent's 1884 portrait of Madame X, currently housed in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. Costume designer Jean Louis drew from this iconic painting to create a memorable look for Gilda. The film was originally considered for shooting in Technicolor, but due to camera constraints, it was ultimately shot in black and white. Cinematographer Rudolf Matt, who had worked on earlier color films starring Rita Hayworth, like Cover Girl and Tonight and Every Night, was chosen to handle the cinematography. Interestingly, Humphrey Bogart declined the role of Johnny Farrell in this classic film noir. He believed that with the stunning Rita Hayworth as Gilda, the audience's attention would be entirely on her, making his presence less significant. These behind-the-scenes facts provide a glimpse into the making of Gilda and the decisions that contributed to its enduring appeal. It's a testament to the craftsmanship and star power that made this film a box office hit. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the cinematic treasure trove of 1,946 seconds Gilda, I invite you to pause and reflect on the indelible mark this film has left on your cinematic soul. In its sultry nights, and smoky casinos, and the fiery tension between Rita Hayworth and Glenn Ford, and in the haunting notes of Put the Blame on Mame, you've ventured into a world where desire and deceit dance hand in hand. Perhaps you've been captivated by Gilda's enigmatic allure, or found yourself entranced by Johnny's tormented charisma. Maybe you've marveled at the exquisite cinematography that paints the characters in shadows and light, or the script's sharp and timeless dialogue. Now, it's your turn to shine. Share your thoughts, your favorite scenes, or the way Gilda touched your heart. Let the echoes of this noir classic reverberate in the comments below as we celebrate the enduring magic of this cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the enigmatic world of Gilda. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, remember that the love, the hate, the passion, and the blame, they all belong to you, dear viewer.